Hello again, everyone. This is Kathy of Kathy's Creole Kitchen. I just want to say thank you for joining me today. Today, we're going to make deviled eggs just because it's so close to Easter. And this is a great little appetizer that you can make for people or it can accompany the dinner, the picnic, whatever you choose to do for Easter. So, or any other time, deviled eggs are great little appetizers. Um, I've already done some prep work to get it started so it doesn't take so long. I've cut the eggs in half. I've put the yolks in here. Um, I'm gonna cut this egg and show you exactly how it's done in just a minute because everybody doesn't know how to prepare an egg and stuff like that. So I just wanna make sure it's all good. So, um, but I'm gonna give you the ingredients first. First, I have a fourth cup of Miracle Whip. I, I don't do mayonnaise, a lot of people do, but I prefer the Mil Miracle Whip salad dressing. It's called Miracle Whip salad dressing. I have, that's a fourth of a cup. I have two tablespoons of mustard. I have a tablespoon of sweet relish. I have a fourth of a teaspoon of black, freshly ground back, black pepper, I freshly grind it. And I have a, ha a half teaspoon of Himalayan salt pink Himalayan salt, I use that because it's got a lot of minerals in it. And I have um, some cayenne pepper in here, ground cayenne pepper, because this is what I dust the, the eggs with. So let's get started now. Um, this is how I do my eggs. I cut it in half lengthwise, and it's real easy. I just squeeze the yolk out into the container, the receptacle, just pop it out like that. It's real, real simple. So then what I like to do is I like to crush my eggs up. Uh, I know a lot of people have had eggs um, that are kind of chunky. I don't like it real chunky. I like it uh, very smushed up. So I take, I take uh, the uh, whisk and I just crunch it up. Sometimes I have to take a fork if it doesn't do quickly enough, and I think I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna grab a fork for you and show you how simple it is with the fork too. You just smash it all up with the fork. Get it all smashed up, put this to the side. Take a look how we're smashing it up like that because you want it to be all nice and crummy. You don't want the big hunks and chunks because that's not very appetizing, at least not to me, you know. Um, I'm not a big egg person. I tolerate eggs, um, you know, for breakfast because, well, that's the thing to do. But I absolutely love deviled eggs. Uh, I'm a southerner, so, you know, southerners love deviled eggs. Uh, so we get it all, see how nice and crushed up. I'm getting every little chunky bit in there crushed up like that. Uh, I don't know how many times I can tell you that I've gone to an event, uh, some kind of meal, a dinner, a church dinner, a picnic, something like that, and the eggs are running. I cannot stand that. That is the most disgusting thing in the world to me. But we're gonna get, we're gonna make some really wonderful tasting uh, deviled eggs. You'll be able to brag on them. You'll, it'll give you bragging rights. Okay, you're gonna have bragging rights on these eggs. So, okay, we've got it amply smushed up like that. So now. We're going to take, I start off with half of the ingredients because like I say, you don't want them runny. So I'm just going to scoop about half of that Miracle Whip that I have right there. I'm going to scoop half of the mustard into that. I'm going to scoop um, half of the relish that I have in here. And then I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of the pepper, the black pepper, the ground black pepper. And I'm gonna sprinkle a, a bit of the of the salt. I'm not gonna bang on it because a friend of mine said, what are you banging on the utensil for? Uh, trying, I was just trying to get it out because I'm just too lazy to go get a spatula or something to get it out. But I have everything today. So, so now we're gonna mix this up in here and see what kind of consistency we get. By the way, this is eight eggs. I'm working with eight eggs here. Eight egg yolks 
And that doesn't seem to be quite enough. It's still a little dry. You don't want them to be dry either. So now I'm gonna put the rest of the Miracle Whip in it. Get it out of there. Put that in this out of the way. I'm gonna get the rest of the mustard out of there. I'm gonna put the rest of the relish. Uh, I'm not gonna put the rest of the salt and pepper yet because I wanna taste it first. I don't wanna have it uh, too salty. That's the last thing I want. Okay, now we're gonna mix it up some more. And the reason I mix it up with a fork is because I want it to be nice and smooth. So while you're mixing it with a fork, you still can get the little chunks out like that. So it's all mixed up. All right, let's see. Now see, that's a good consistency. It's not runny, it's still firm, but it's all mixed up. Let's take a look. Now I'm gonna taste it, see how it tastes. Mm, it's got that nice tart taste. I think I'm gonna put a little bit more of the salt. So I would say that should be enough. And I'm definitely gonna put the rest of the black pepper. Um, I left a little bit of salt, so I would say just a little bit less than half a teaspoon of salt. So I'm gonna get it all mixed up. Right there. Looks wonderful, let me grab my spoon. I know a lot of people like to make the eggs all fancy. They get a um, pastry bag and then they squeeze it in there. I'm a good old country Southern girl. I just like to take my spoon and put it in there like that. It looks nice in there like that. So I'm gonna do that to all of the eggs. And um, once I get them all done, I'll get right back to you. Okay, so I'm back. I have them all put in the deviled egg tray. Um, and now this is, this is my little, uh, power play here, I would say. I just call it a power play because I like to sprinkle a pinch of cayenne pepper on each one of them. And it just depends on who if, who you know likes spice. My family likes spicy food, so I always do this. But now if you know someone that doesn't like spicy food, then I would say put paprika on it. But for me, it's always cayenne pepper. I like that little hit of spice when you pop it in your mouth and you get that little tangy, hot flavor, it's wonderful. So that's what I do. I'm just sprinkling a little dash of a little pinch of cayenne pepper on each one of them. Just like that. And I always put a little greenery in that center because on deviled egg trays, there's a little center that's like a little circle. You could put extra eggs in there, but if you do, just put a, a piece of lettuce or something in there uh, right in the center. It just dresses it up a little more, makes it look a little more festive. And uh, that's just the way I like it. So, and guys, remember, please uh, like me on YouTube and on Facebook and uh, leave me comments. Tell me if you tried it. And if you tried it, tell me how you like it. So here you go. Oops, I forgot the one that I'm getting ready to eat. I'm gonna sprinkle that with some cayenne pepper. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's taste it now. Mm, so good. Like I say, I'm not even an egg person, but double eggs are my favorite. But uh, let's get back to making this. Thank you again for joining me on Kathy's Creole Kitchen. Excuse me, I got something caught in my throat. Um, come back next week and we'll try something else. Remember to like me on Facebook and leave me comments on YouTube and let me know if you tried it and let me know how you like it. Thank you so much for joining me on Kathy's Creole Kitchen and y'all have a pleasant weekend. Thank you so much. <laughs>